everyone, I'm Kirby. This is Kirby Meets Audio, and today we're gonna make an acoustic wall treatment. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. So right off the bat with this project, I committed one of the cardinal sins of making stuff. I assumed I knew even a little bit about what I was doing before I actually did the research. I knew I wanted to do some acoustic treatments to this room, so the first thing I did was went out and bought a bunch of this stuff. So you might be wondering, this stuff looks like what you would need? What's the problem? Well, this stuff is useful for a purpose, but maybe not the purpose you're hoping to accomplish. Uh, you see, this stuff is pretty good at absorbing high frequencies, but it's not so great at absorbing the mids to lows. So I'm still learning about this stuff, but from what I've gathered so far, the high frequencies aren't really the enemy of a listening space. The real problem comes from the low frequencies, the base of your music and those longer sound waves are much harder to absorb and dissipate. You actually need a material that's much thicker and more dense than these kind of thin, squishy, two-inch pieces you can find all over Amazon. But that doesn't mean this type of foam wedge doesn't have a purpose for your listening room. In my setup, I have a wall pretty much right behind the listening position. Not a great setup, but due to the size restraints of this room, there's not really much I can do about it but I can control the high frequency reflections off that back wall. And that's what I'm gonna be building today.
So there's actually another part to acoustic treatment. So far we've been talking about absorption, which is pretty self-explanatory, but there is also dispersion. Uh, this is the kind of the opposite of absorption. Instead of using soft materials to absorb sound waves, we use a hard material to break up those waves. By dispersing those sound waves, you lessen the frequencies, amplitude, or volume. In this project, I went with a sort of hybrid approach. We have soft acoustic foam to absorb some of the high frequencies, and then this hardwood cut at various angles to hopefully disperse some of those high frequencies. In a listening environment like this, my goal isn't to create an isobaric chamber where there's no acoustic reflections. That wouldn't sound good at all. Uh, I still want to keep some liveliness to the room, and that's usually done with a combination of absorption and dispersion. This video is sponsored by Skillshare, an online learning community for creators with more than 17,000 creative, business, technology, and lifestyle classes. I know a lot of you watch my videos to learn how to build speakers to turn that hobby into a side business. And if you haven't thought about that until right now, maybe you should look into it. I started my speaker building business back in 2012, and I learned all my lessons the hard way. <laughs> how to market my product, how to write ad copy, and even how to brand the company. As you've probably noticed, I've recently redesigned the Kerbin Meets Audio logo, and I got a lot of help using Skillshare. I've been going through Jeff's Staples series on business and branding, and I think Jeff's course and a lot of the other courses can help you get your side business off the ground. A premium membership gives you unlimited access to high quality classes from experts working in their fields. So you can improve your skills, unlock new opportunities, and do the work you love. Skillshare is also more affordable than most other platforms out there. An annual subscription costs less than $10 a month. And the first 500 people to use my link can get two months of Skillshare Premium for free. And then it's as low as $10 a month after that if you decide to continue learning using the Skillshare platform. You can find the links down in the description below. So this project was a little more of a test with everything I've learned so far. I have a few more projects planned to make this room sound even better, so be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell if you haven't. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Just let me know how you feel. All right, thank you very much for watching. Go check out kmakits.com, and I'll see you guys next week. Thanks. Peace.